Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. Today I want to show you how to use Lightroom Collections to um, sequence a group of images. So uh, I've got a bunch of images here where the, the theme is, let's say, the uh, rural countryside. And so the first thing I want to do is to select uh, the group that I'm going to want to work with out of this whole group of them, I'm going to select 12. And um, I can do that by on a PC holding the, I've got one image selected right now. This is the first one I want to include. And now I'm going to hold the control key down. On a Mac would be the command key. Um, and uh, then just select the ones that I want. Oops, that was not the control key. There's the control key. And uh, so I'm just picking the ones that I think might be good candidates for showing the rural countryside. Which of these do I prefer? I don't want to use both of them. I think maybe the cat is staring at me there. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's scroll down a little further here. Oops, that's too far. Um, oh, I like that one. Eight. Maybe Uh, nine. Do I want to include a barn? I don't know. Uh, oh, let's do 10, 11, and uh, 12. Okay, so now I've got 12 images here that uh, are kind of um, rural countryside sort of things. And I'm going to now create a new collection of those 12 images. So over here on the left side, uh, I've got collections. I'm going to click the plus sign right next to the word collections and uh, then create collection. And uh, give it a name and the collection is going to be called, let's see, this is for the course PH123. And this is actually my uh, Final pick. Okay, and um, in include the selected photos. That's the default option, and that's what I want to do. So now, when I create that collection, it'll immediately take me right into it. I can click off those pictures to um, uh, deselect that, and I can change the size of the thumbnails here in the bottom. Um, gonna just make them as big as as will fit here. And now, the next thing I want to do is to put them into a nice sequence. So I think that um, I want to start with sort of an overall shot. This is a good starting shot. So I just grab that and drag it up into that corner. And uh, maybe from there we we'll go to more of a close up of that sort of thing. And we've got a kind of a water theme going here. So maybe now we move to uh, more, more water. So now how to get out of this water theme here. It's, um, it's maybe, maybe we go to sky next. That might be a, um, um, logical transition there, and then maybe the sky takes us to the road. So we go to that, and um, I got these other ones down here. Um, let me close this top so that I have a little more real estate to work with here. Um, hmm. Actually, I kind of like the road for an ending. That's that. The road feels like a nice ending shot. And you know, I'm honestly not totally thrilled about this one in here. It just doesn't feel like it belongs. So I think what I'd like to do is to see if there's something else that would work better than that one. Do you see the way this one just stands out as being different from the others? So I, what I, what I want to do is go back to um, the uh, photographs. So I want to up here go to all photographs and it will take me to the area around whatever is selected. So I want to go to right around where this one was. So when I click on all photographs uh, on the left side here, that will take me back to that same area and with that same one highlighted. And uh, so maybe, maybe a distant cow shot. So what I want to do is add this one to that collection. So where is the collection over here? Let's see. It was uh, start with a P. So it's alphabetical here. Um, so I grab this and uh, I'm going to drag it over here and drop it into that PH123 final picks. And you see now I have 13 pictures in there. So I'm going to click back on that one. And um, it is kind of similar to that, but it's different enough. Now I'm going to get rid of this one from here. So I'm going to just hit the delete key, which doesn't delete the photograph from Lightroom. It just deletes it from this collection. So 
Um, so now I've got these two different cow pictures here. So maybe I can start with a more distant one. And that's actually kind of a nice transition from here to there. And then the connection of the cows brings us to justifies the change from the distant shot to the close up because we're sort of zooming in on cows there. So then maybe from those cows, uh, maybe we go to this fence because the uh, actually this the coloring is more similar to the cows there. So then we go from a fence theme to another fence. Um, I don't really like having three fences in a row though. So maybe I want to push this fence up. Um, well, there's a kind of a fence here. I'm going to double click on this to see it more closely. Um, I could have also clicked on this uh, loop view. Uh, I can switch back and forth that way or I can just double click to go in and out. But um, there's a fence there so maybe I can go to this fence from there and then maybe go to the cows from that. Actually I think maybe I like that one better. And then you go to eh, like that. Um, so the color uh, transition is actually much nicer going from this to this. Uh, they're very similar in color and and general um, general viewpoint. So that's a nice transition. And then the going into the close up of the cows. And then there's a color theme happening there. That's pretty good. And then fence to fence. And then um, this is sort of standing out. Maybe I want to switch these, even though. Even though I really like the road for the end, actually, um, this was not really that exciting a shot. I wonder if I have a better one than that. Um, so I'm going to go back and look at the all photographs again and see if there's another one that um, will work there. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like that better. So I'm going to drag that one into my where did it go there it is drop that one in and click on that again and yeah i like that better than this so i'm going to delete this one and put that one back at the end because i do like the road for the end shot so we're you know going down the road and um but uh, let's see where do i want to fit this in i kind of um maybe in terms of coloring how does it look there? No, because that's breaking my cows up. No, I like the other better there. Whoops, I didn't want to double click. Um, maybe there. No, I don't like that either. I think this is probably the best place for it. Um, so uh, now I've got them in a sequence that's seeming to work for me. I'm going to uh, go through them now. I'm just going to use the arrow key to just go through and see how the sequence seems to be working. Uh, double click to get out and I'm um, not really happy with uh, how did this one get in the beginning here that's not really that's not really a strong beginning shot I need a stronger opening shot than that um, let's see here maybe if I start with the cows okay so I'm gonna move the cows up here and then I can move to that because actually there are cows in there also. So maybe, maybe if I start, maybe start with a you know sort of a jolt by having staring at the cows. But I really want more more of a uh, general scene to start with. I think. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do a sort of a shocker beginning and start by having you staring at cows. It's sort of a, a jump, and then we jump out immediately to the more distant. Um, and even more distant, but now the jump to this one is not making as much sense as it did before. So maybe I need to go from here to possibly here. Um, no, actually, I think to here and put this one back where it was. And yeah, I like that a little better. Let's just see from there to there. Yeah, that's kind of working. And I have that water area there, then we go to the fences. But now I've got those three fences in a row that I really didn't want to have. Um, three fences in a row is too many. You know, this would actually make a nice beginning shot. Let's try that instead. And then let's go to... That's actually quite nice. Yeah, I like going from there to there. That's very nice. Okay, so then we go to the, the just a few cows. 
Um, don't really like having this one next though, so let's let's put it down here. Okay. All right, that's better. This actually is not as good as it was because the color we're jumping in color radically here from this to this. Maybe if we go from the cows to that fence, that's a good transition. And then from there, maybe to this water might be. Um, yeah, that's the that works a little better. And um, um, and then maybe to this water, and we come out with this water because that's a nice transition from here to there. That's that that works very nicely. That's a smooth transition. And then actually, I think I want the, this fence next. Um, and this one's kind of the weak link in the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. I I hope you've got an idea of what I'm dealing with here. What I'm thinking. I've been trying to sort of think this out loud uh, about what I'm looking for in moving from one shot to the next. And uh, so now I can um, I can go to the print module and print these, and they'll print in this order. And um, so um, but you. Sometimes an image that you that you like, I really liked that picket fence shot. That was a really nice shot. It just didn't seem to fit into the overall scene. You know, it might be my favorite shot of all of these, but it just doesn't fit into this set. So I had to uh, sacrifice that uh, one shot for the sake of the um, the overall look of the um, the the final set. So that's the kind of thinking that you do here. You want to start with a strong one. You want to end with a strong one, and you want to have um, somewhat logical transitions from one shot to the next. There needs to be there needs to be some sense of logic, and the logic can change. So, for example, from here to here, there's a a color and a general uh, scene similarity. Here, it's it's um, it's the pictorial matter. It's the it's the cow connection, and here it's it's really more about color and more or less uh, the what the scale is. Um, this one is less tangible. This is probably the you know a, a, a kind of a weak link between them in terms of the logic, um, but um, but it was sort of the best I could come up with uh, there. So uh, then then there's a water uh, connection there and there and here um, there's a, just a similarity in in the in the viewpoint and um, and in the color um, etc. So um, and we end with a road just going going down the road. Oh, it's actually a path, but who's counting? So that's the kind of thing you look at, and I hope that has been helpful.